Hi there, welcome to video number four. This one is on dividing and this is the bus stop method. Again, keywords in this uh, video we'll be referring to are quotient and uh, fraction. Uh, so I've got a method for you and you can follow that. You can read those words and you can follow that and I'll just again talk you through uh, what I would do to answer each one of these three questions. So in the first one, we've got a simple calculate 462 divided by nine. Uh, basically let's follow the method so draw a bus stop um, there's a bus stop now obviously not a lovely artistic picture of a bus stop this is what the maths bus stop looks like uh, put it in quotation marks it's called the bus stop method um, for this reason because you draw this little bus stop here now write the digits of the first number inside the bus stop so 462 goes inside and write the digits of the other number on the outside so the number is the second number nine on the outside see how many of the number on the outside fit into the digits on the inside so i need to know my nine times table if you do not know your nine times table then list the nine times table down the side somewhere okay but i uh, think i'm okay with my nine times table to do it in my head so nine uh, into four does not fit the answer of that goes above and any remainders go next to the next number. Now, I didn't fit any into that four, so that four gets carried over. I'm then gonna do nine into 46. So how many nines are there in 46? Well, I know that nine times five is 45, right? And then there's one left over. So uh, five is the answer to that and one left over. Nine goes into 12, how many times? Well, I know it can only fit in there once with three left over. Now, you could pop a little R and three there. That's a, one way of doing it. I'm not a massive fan of doing that. Uh, you could put a decimal point here, decimal point here, put a zero here, put the three over here, nine into 30, and then carry on until you get a satisfactory answer. But I quite like to just give my answer, uh, if I don't have to give it as a decimal, I like to give it as uh, 51, and then a fraction, okay? Uh, part of the whole. So there's three left over out of the nine. So that's three out of nine. There's a fraction. A fraction is just a division anyway. All right. And we're, we'll talk about fractions later on in more detail. But we can simplify this fraction. Uh, both numbers divide by three. So therefore we get one third. So 51 and one third is the most accurate answer that you could give. For those of you that understand what uh, one, third of it, one third is, great. Well done. You could have, you could have had your answer as 51.3 recurring is what you would have got if you did that as a decimal. OK, so there's there's options there. That's my favorite one. I think it's the easiest thing to do. Put that number over that number and then uh, simplify that fraction bit if you can. OK. Um, in question two, you've got to work out the quotient by dividing um, 746 by four. By dividing that by that. Yeah. Basically, uh, quotient is the result of uh, dividing some numbers. Now, you don't have to learn that word. Not really. That's not something that pops up in exam papers. It's just nice to know, isn't it? So um, let's do the same thing. We're going to draw the bus stop. We're going to put the 7, the 4, the 6. We're going to put the 4 on the outside. Uh, this time, 4 does fit into 7. It goes one time with 3 left over. 4 then fits into 34. Well, it goes into uh, 32 eight times. Okay, number times table, because 4 times 8 is 32. Then there's 2 left over to get between uh, 32 and 34. So there's 2 left over. And then 4 goes into 26. Well, that goes in uh, 6 times again with 2 left over. I'm just going to put that remainder 2 there. And then that's going to remind me to put that 2 over the 4. And 2 over 4 is simplified down to a half. Again, you could carry it on as a decimal if you wanted. You get 0.5 as your answer. So 186 and one half is my final answer for that question. And then in number three, we've got Andy again is doing some things this time. And the word has gone out the box a little bit. That's a bit annoying. I hadn't noticed that. Never mind. So Andy has uh, 1,625 sweets to share between himself and 24 of his closest friends. He's a very popular guy, Andy. So he wants uh, to... I don't know why that's got a... This is littered with errors. He wants to make sure they all get the same amount as he gets. Uh, how many sweets does each person get? So first of all, we have to think about uh, possibly writing this um, as a fraction because you could write it as a fraction um, instead of uh, writing it in the bus stop. You could do one, six, two, five divided by 25. Now I've done 25 instead of 24 because he's included in this as well. That, that's something that could throw you. 
potentially. So uh, what do both these numbers divide by? Well, they definitely divide by five. That's a, that's a nice thing to think of. So we could think of dividing each of these numbers by five. Well, dividing the bottom number by five is pretty easy. Uh, we get five, if you know your five times table. And then we just think about how many fives fit into one, none, how many fives fit into 16? Well, three go in with one left over. How many fives fit into 12? We're kind of doing the bus stop here just in our heads, just to get a nicer number on the on the top here. So how many fives go into 12? Well, two do. Uh, two go into 12 with two left over and how many go into 25 five do okay so we get a nice number there now that calculation I prefer to do that in the bus stop than I would uh, this calculation we could carry on doing this as a fraction but um, just to, for the purpose of me showing you the bus stop method um, and kind of cancelling this fraction down is a nice way to do that uh, five goes into three no times carry the three over that goes in six times with two left over and that goes in five times so the answer there is 0, 065 we don't need to put the zero at the front because it doesn't have a value therefore it is 65 sweets each um, and that uh, makes Andy's friends happier than they have ever been before if they get 65 sweets from him I'm sure so uh, basically there you go there's your dividing um, method uh, for various different questions uh, again please click the link in the description to practice yourself um, and there'll be the answers there available uh, as well so yes like and subscribe and check out the rest of the videos um, as and when they appear and enjoy just enjoy the maths enjoy doing it enjoy getting good at it right it's a nice thing to be good at doing thank you for watching again